Hello and Jason, welcome to Jubilee Action. This is 7 things that should be illegal by the channel Offending Everybody. This is a new channel I found out about basically the channel says offending everyone, uh, which is a concept you wouldn't think somebody would make a channel about in 2023, but somebody has. Like that's the balls it takes. And it's not just some just name that he chose. Every title and everything he says is just like, "Oh my god, how is he saying it?" Right? Because YouTube would go insane, but apparently it's not. It's like, "Hmm, Uh, you know i like it i like this channel a lot right all concept is just awesome nowadays it's just like walls are closing slowly it is just insane like especially something like youtube you can't even say anything and slowly you know i think they are uh, you know they are feeling the pressure youtube because amberis or also you know some new news that guidelines were changed for certain content and then guidelines were kind of uh, made some loose about it which like hmm that is a surprise because usually it's just like getting stronger and stronger So I like channel like this. So it's going to be fun. Seven things that should be like a trampoline apparently as soon as it's the first image and it says trampoline in the subtitles. So yeah, that's always fun. Remember people if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe so I know which video to react to more and that way you'll be supporting this channel by helping the algorithm more impression and things like that. And yeah, check out the reaction there's a link in the description. Check out the end cards and yeah, let's watch it. driving naked owning a tank shockingly all these things are legal so here's a list of five things that should totally be illegal number 1 selling caffeine to children everyone loves drugs especially children and no one knows this better than Logan Paul when he's not promoting crypto scams Logan can be seen advertising his drink oh prime hydration God. each 12 ounce can of prime has 200 mg of caffeine 200 to put that in perspective that's six times the amount in a can of coke in red bull only 200? has 114 mg and this guy is allowed to advertise it to children to children what does a child even need caffeine for this is just colossally bad colossally bad now i have two takes on this first of all logan ball created a drink prime sure it's like energy drink everybody creates it now if uh, kids take it it's like mostly parents fault logan ball cannot police this at the same time energy drink should not caffeine anything caffeine related should not be even touching kids even like i don't think even if you like after 15 and 16 maybe before that no caffeine is addictive i know nowadays i take what 800 900 mg which is not okay but i'm an adult and i know what I'm, what the fuck i'm doing but that's a different thing kids is a completely different caffeine might even have like a you know issue in their head right because they're developing right now kids are developing constantly their brain is also developing There's a reason we don't like uh, give twelfth standard books to first standard kid, because they're evolving. Their brain is evolving. At the time, giving them stimulants like caffeine is a no-no. Anything that affect brain, that is a no-no for kids. Even something like Sudafed is like doctor said like it's not okay for small kids, because even then affects that affects the brain. How is caffeine okay? I see people drinking Coke, giving their like six year old Coke. Do you know Coke has caffeine in it? Pepsi has caffeine in it. Dew has worse Mountain Dew, and something like Red Bull. Have you lost your mind? I don't understand this. Like some of the leeways that that are just legal. Oh, it's 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 freedom. Like but you know, freedom. There's one thing about freedom. There's one thing about being unregulated of everything. Most of people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Is my kid? No, you don't own your fucking kid. You're parenting. I'm sorry, but this is just pissing me off. Right? Negligence is just just pisses me off. It's not okay, man. They can already wake up at 7 a.m. without having the desire to kill their girlfriend. And everyone knows caffeine is both addictive and has withdrawal symptoms. Yet every scooter mom in Walmart keeps buying it for their kids who idolize someone that dry humps Just people for a living. Just fucking pisses me off. I can't wait for Logan's next investment, crystal meth cupcakes. Dude is going to make a killing at the church bake sale. Number 2, child beauty pageants. Oh my god. Oh my for god. Pedophiles. For someone who's grown up with the internet, it takes a lot to disgust me. But Tyler's and Tiara's does it every time. How is putting a push-up bra on a child not fucking illegal? Seriously, how are these parents rewarded for committing crimes against humanity? Yeah, This show yes, should I'm rebrand gonna... itself as Surprise CPS. Or as soon as a parent forces their child into boot. Yeah, I nearly banged my head against the wall. This is fu- this is one of the worst shit of all time. This is like an abuse as abuse can be. How is this fucking legal? There is not a single child that fucking wants this. At first, all oh, this like tiara and yeah, I'm 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 queen or whatever. But as soon as the pressure rises, and there is a pressure, is a fucking competition, right? You know, it's just like you can see on kids' face like not enjoying it, and parents just forcing them. It's good for the future. The fuck you know? You're robbing their them of their childhood. Right and like you know, like he said, like just only fans and all that shit. It's in the future.
And the same people just go to pawn as well and ruins their life uh, forever. Who's to blame with that? Again, with the negligence, my kid. But there's a limit. This whole like parent and kid thing, there's way too many loose things there, right? It's my my kid. I can, you know, I can do whatever I want. I can guide them. No, there should be limits, man. If something is just abusive and somebody do, does that, I mean, there are child protesters for reason. This is insane. I mean, I know somebody, but this is legal. Yeah, but what, what the fuck does that legal mean? That's the talk here. You know, there should be more discussion about this. Like, what is okay and what is not? And what is this point blank negligence? Booty shorts. Surprise! CPS shows up. I don't even know who the most evil is here. Is it the network for making advertisements of children twerking? Is it the audience who are definitely predators playing pocket pool? Oh or is it the God. judges who are scoring the best strip oh, competition the when it's clear the only number they want to give out is their own? Number three, tax exemptions for churches. How many little boys need to get bediddled before we shut down churches? Approximately 5% oh, of all shit. priests are accused of molesting children. If there was a 5% chance you get molested in Target, you'd think twice about getting that Pikachu hoodie. Now, I'm not saying you can't be Christian or Catholic or any other wrong religion. I'm just saying Catholic churches seem to be breeding grounds for pedophiles. Who would have guessed telling a guy he can't have sex than putting him alone in a room with little boys would go off the rails? And if you're a pedo looking for a I job, why would you not want to be a priest? You're left alone with impressionable young men, there doesn't seem to be any background checks, and your supervisor never shows up to work. But ignoring all the separation of church and state, why are we giving taxpayer money to the vault police? Is it because some of them are charities? Because the only donation I see is the one Father Cunningham keeps giving to little Billy. Number four, Infant circumcision. Why do people still do this? Google tells me it can help reduce bacteria underneath your foreskin, but you know what else can help reduce bacteria? Basic hygiene. How does slicing your Johnson even get started? Like, I've seen some terrible TikTok trends, but this takes the cake. Sex is the best thing that can happen to a guy. That's why a threesome is on every guy's bucket list. Because the only thing better than having sex with one person is having sex with two people. So why would you roll the dice and snip the only thing giving you dopamine? Because you're one handshake away from your parents changing your name from Steve to Stacy. Number five, bribery. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, one of those are way too much insane shit. Especially the church thing. I mean, like, it's a religious thing, but all the, th you know, I'm hoping the numbers, <laughs> numbers are just like wrong and it's not that many, but I don't know, man. This is like, what the fuck? How do you not address it at that global scale, if, especially if it happened to a lot of Catholic churches, right? I mean, that is a one thing. Religion is just one thing like people are not going to touch regardless of what. Other things like pageant and, you know, first from caffeine thing is understandable. We can actually have discussion about do something. Religion is like one thing nobody's going to have discussion about. So this is the point of saying like at this point, what's going to work and what's going to not, right? So I, I don't know. That's just fucked up. Bribery. Again, one of the things like corruption is going to be there forever. I don't know about much this. Like, it's the type of thing that shouldn't be there. But it's like wishful thinking. It's, come on. I meant to say lobbying. In America, money can buy anything. A nice car, a girlfriend with no gag reflex, and almost any law you want. You see, giving a congressman money and saying, make me a law that helps my company and... So you mean lobbying, not bribery. There's a difference. Bribery is just corruption. It will happen everywhere at every level. Uh, lobbying is the one thing that can be rid of if people really want it. But the point is, the way system is built up, Congress is people. Congress benefits from lobbying. They, they are, their pocket is the one gets filled. Doesn't matter who gets elected, they will never vote for reading lobbying, even though if 90% of people want it. So it's just like one of those things. Once it's there, it's not going away. And, uh, f the working man is illegal, but funding their re-election campaign, totally legal. Companies aren't buying legislation. They're just giving thousands of dollars because, because, thousands, tits, why are they giving thousands of dollars? Um, I, I guess out of the kindness of their heart? And the point is, it's not related. Also completely unrelated, this video is sponsored by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, where life-saving medication is only a phone call away. Uh, unless you're poor, then sorry, Moocher, <laughs> it's the casket for you. Number six. There was an a-hole that said making a pill was for two dollars but we could sell it for two hundred dollars so we did i just wanted to strangle him of all the things you want to make profit of something that can be life-threatening you're making profit out of that. profit is fine make profit out of something like that but there's a limit there's a limit between profit and just taking advantage of shit because you have monopoly that's just like bad as bad can be right two dollars to two hundred dollars something that's just insane just because you can you're the only one to do it it is, you know, nobody even uses this kind of a monopoly tactics even at any other scale, but only medicine.
fact dumb people having children? How is there no IQ test in order to have children? You need to take a test to drive a car, but not to raise a child? How does that make sense? I'm pretty sure I could do more damage with a kid I never hug, rather than my Prius. There should at least be an interview process where someone looks over your finances and talks to your friend. Again, goes with the caffeine thing and the pageant thing. Parents, children thing is way too loose. Freedom, yes, but children are real human beings. That's going to grow up and run the world. There should be something that, you know, makes sure that everything is going fine. Rather than just getting free, you know, free like, oh, it's like, is their kid, is their thing. What, they don't own the kid. Being a guardian should be like more strict. Like, you, you want to have kids? In the, We have 8 billion people on the planet. You want to have kids? Yeah, we, we have to make sure you can do this or not. Rather than, oh, I don't, it doesn't matter, it's your kid, it's like you own it. You have to make sure, like, our parents, guardian or no owners, if they're, if they're guardians, they, there should be some kind of oversight, like everything's happening right or not. Hey, where do you think the over-under is that Paul Bediddle's kids? Besides, there's already enough stupid people in the world. We don't need your special needs ass popping out more. Let's agree, there should at least be a limit. There's a show on TLC called Doubling Down Derricos, where a couple has 14 kids. 14! That bitch is probably sounds like a windbreaker flapping in the wind. You can't be a good parent to five kids, let alone 14. I hope one of them grows up to be a carpenter. That way they can staple their mom's pussy shut. Number seven, paparazzi. Stalking people is illegal. Unless you're a celebrity, then it's cool. They have more money than us. Uh, don't even view them as people. But nowadays, what even is a celebrity? Everyone makes content. Who isn't making videos exploiting their dog, their kids, or their for views? So can you just stalk anyone with a social media account? If so, I'm ready to take down my curtains and show you a helicopter disaster worse than the one that killed Kobe. So those are seven things that should totally be illegal. If I missed any, please. Okay, the whole TikTok thing, it's, the whole TikTok thing is just insane, right? Especially in the gyms and shit. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. People go to gym lockers. What's called lockers? Whatever, the changing rooms or whatever, right? Bathrooms and things, and they're recorded. Fuck you, that's illegal. I'm pretty sure that's illegal in many places, right? And, you know, just like... They record in gym and look at that creep looking around. First of all, people do realize that people can file a case for defamation, right? If you can't prove shit. You can't just say shit, especially in front of a camera, if you're going to put it on the internet. I don't understand this. All the people need to oh, look at that creep, you know, this and that, stitch coming, whatever, all that bullshit. If the guy finds out and the guy, is, the guy has money and he's free, he can basically just file a lawsuit saying defamation. And you'd be fucked if you don't have a proper answer. Most defamation cases are not won. But not one on basis of money. Maybe you might not get money, but you will. See, you will be if you if you're like founded like oh you're you're right. That is a defamation. The person is fucked, right? This it opens doors to many problems. How is people just point blank on social media say shit and make up shit based on nothing? They go to some supermarket and prank somebody and actually have some kind of a damage scenario. Even then, but people can basically you know file a case against. What do you mean by prank? I don't understand this generation, right? All the TikTok thing, they just basically take a camera and do ridiculous shit in the public. Just be open like, public is not your domain, man. It's a public place. None of that makes sense to me, right? Paparazzi thing, yeah, it's like celebrities. They sign up for it. If you become a public figure, you're signing up for it. Even then, it's just like a touch and go. You know, they didn't sign up for to be harassed. But okay, even then, you can't just have good shit and not have bad shit either. But harassing people, that's just insane, all right? Every everything about this is just fucked up. All the list, like most of them are just like, all of them are agree with. Some of them are like, you know, you can't do much about it. But most of them are like, people have to do something about it. I feel like there will be done about it in future. There will be something about caffeine and the kids. Like you can't give caffeine to kids. There will be something like that as more studies come out, right? With the parents and children thing, there's like a freedom, uh, you know, like a court gets thrown out and people just shut up. But there's gonna be limit to that. Slowly is increasing, right? So, uh, so, what is it called? Child services, whatever. The thing about them is increasing. The more oversight is there, like, this is a problem, that is a problem. One day it will be like that, like, okay, you want to have kids? You know, we need to make sure, like, you can have a kid and make them grow up. Not that, okay, you're a moron. You you can't even take care of yourself. Now you want to have kids? Like, no. And that might feel like, okay, that's, uh, you know, that's like a not fair. But you have to look for kids. Like, kids come first if you're going to have kids. Now, you know, if kids going to suffer, you know, fuck you, man. It doesn't matter, right? I don't care if it's unfair for you. Kids are the first priority here. You want to have kids. Kids didn't ask to be born. You, you are the one who want to have kids. 
So you have to make sure like you can take care of the case. Otherwise, it's negligence. There's a law for it, for negligence, man. So there you go. Right, people? There were seven things that should be illegal by the channel. Offending every great fucking channel. I love it. Every single you know thing about it. If you haven't seen this channel, go to the original video page link. And from there, watch their all videos. It's just insanely good. And yeah, subscribe to that. The more subscriptions this channel get, the the, the boy. If there is a channel, then rooting for is this because the title alone is just awesome. Offending everybody. All right. I'll see you next time.